everybody. It's Tracy from teachmetracy.com. And on this channel, you're going to see videos all about the tips, tools, and tricks to thrive in a homeschool lifestyle. Summer is a great time, especially for homeschoolers, to organize and to declutter and to do all of those things that we kind of put to the side because we're busy during the school year. Homeschooling and so since we finished our program probably around three weeks ago, I'm just now getting around to decluttering. And it's one of the goals that I had set for myself, if you recall, in my goals for 2022 is to get this house organized. I cannot take it anymore. It's getting on my nerves so bad and it's making us crazy with how much stuff we have. My husband and I have been married for 10 years now. We just celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary in December. And I had a house. He had a house. When we got married, we shoved everything into his house and never cleared out anything. And as a matter of fact, we added stuff. So it is a disaster around here. We have stuff in the garage. We have three or four sheds with stuff. We have an entire basement full of stuff. It's a show. I'm not going to lie. It's a show. <laughs> so, you know, and, and in that time, we have had a child. We run a business from home. So all of Eric J's baby stuff we held on to because we were anticipating having more children after Eric came along. I've been using ThreadUp for a few years now, and it doesn't make me a ton of cash, but it does make me a little bit of money so that I can trade and consign instead of just donating stuff and never seeing any return on money. I found this as a great alternative. I've gotten everything folded here and semi-organized for a consignment bag. And what I have here is two piles because with, in particular with ThreadUp, most consignment shops, but ThreadUp in particular, they have to be either new or like new condition for the most part. So it's great if you have items that have tags still on them, they will definitely take those. They say within five years of the fashion coming out. They also don't want stains or any kind of dirty items. So make sure that you wash them to make sure that they don't have any kind of odor if they've been sitting around for a while, that kind of thing. Just common sense things. The more you follow their direction, the higher the chance that they will keep some of your items. And if you're doing this like I do for a little bit of a cash out or for trade-in value, which is normally how I use it. I don't buy too many things off of ThreadUp. My favorite jeans are not your daughter's jeans. I don't know if you ladies are like me out there, but especially since I got pregnant, and had a child, my body does not like jeans anymore. And I am not somebody who likes the skinny jean trend. I know, no hate, please, no hate. But I never really got into the skinny jean style. Anyway, the last time I looked for a pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans, retail price on them was somewhere in the neighborhood of 130, 135. But when I can find the right size of Not Your Daughter's Jeans, Thread Up has them for about 30 bucks. So what I typically do is I don't take the consignment cash out right away. I usually let it roll over and your credits at ThreadUp do expire, but they will send you an email if you open an account with them usually. That's, how, that's usually how I found out. I'm not on top of it enough. They have to email me and say, hey, your credits are expiring. So I will either at that point cash them out or I will see if they have anything that I might like to purchase. It's a very economical way to approach cleaning out, curating, donating, and putting some cash back into your own wardrobe. This pile over here is our donate pile. So we're going to just move it to the side and then we're going to open up our thread up bag. It comes with a prepaid shipping label here on it. And let's see, I can't remember how many pounds it goes up to, but um, the point is you don't want to overstuff these because you can always get more. So we're going to start filling these bags now. See, this one still has the tag on it. Ridiculous, I know. But they will definitely take this one. 
They even take personal items like this is a little wristlet that I bought, I don't know, years ago just for one outfit back when, you know, when I did that kind of thing. And then I think these shirts will fit in this one. And then I think that's it for this bag. And we can seal it up and go on to the next one. All right. So there you go. There's our first consignment bag all filled up. So we're going to seal this up and then put it to the side. And then we're going to take it to the post office and send it off. It's very simple. You order the kits online and they will ship them to you. It takes, I think mine took about 10 days to get here. Just be aware though, they have not, it does not appear that they have staff back up. So your kits may take about three to four months to process. So know that going in. This time around, I ordered about 11 kits because I had all of these bags of clothes that I wanted to consign with them. So the good ones I take and I consign them with thread up and the ones that I know thread up is probably not going to take, those end up getting donated. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.